go to voice production. Okay, we're done with the breathing. We go to voice production. Okay, how is voice produced? Just to have a like, uh, for you to know how it's done. The sound or quality of tone of the voice is determined by the vocal cords or the larynx, the throat, mouth cavity, the tongue, and head. As, as the breath passes through the vocal cords, causing them to vibrate, it is turned into tone. Mouth and head serve as resonators. So, uh, sound or the quality of voice is determined by the larynx, the throat, the mouth cavity, okay, the tongue, and so forth. Now, the larynx is the most important because it is the voice box. Now, how come, you may ask me, nga ang may taas nga tingog, may inubo, okay? It depends upon the length of the vocal cords, okay? The thicker the vocal bands, the bigger the voice, the thinner the vocal bands, mas ganipis kag mas gataas ang voice. That's why, if you will notice boys that are in the puber puberty, puberty age, their voice changes, no? Sometimes they start as boy sopranos. By the way, kung bata pa ang lalaki, you don't call them tenors. They are just boy sopranos, okay? When they change voices, it becomes deeper. It's because the vocal cords lengthen when they grow up, okay? Now, while I am, while I am in this topic, I am reminded of something. There are questions whether it is uh, safe to let a boy in puberty to sing or in the no now if if there is a teacher or a coach that handles the voice of this boy and as long he, that he is as he is not permitted to strain the voice it will be okay for him to sing in the lampag it talks until the voice stabilizes okay Next, please. Can we have the tips? Okay. Tips in producing a good tone. Okay. I want you to really note this down because they are very important tips. To produce a good tone, first and foremost, you should not have a strain in the throat. So don't sing like, ah, okay. Sino ganing manu kanta? There's a singer with uh, Brian Adams. Who's familiar with Brian Adams? I call him the singer with the laryngitis voice because he sings like he has laryngitis. Pati ano na, pati ano na siya. Hindi, it's, it's not a criticism, but that's how he sings. Do pa us, bala magkanta. Okay, you try, but proper way of singing, especially in church music, you should try not to strain the voice. One is to strengthen the throat muscles. When you sing, there are muscles in the throat. You have to... How should I picture it? Okay. Uh, the muscles in the throat, you try to like visualize it like rubber bands. Okay. Kung ginaunat na siya, it's tensed. Okay. It has to be in that certain tensed manner when you sing to avoid uh, strain. Doka kwa no? Doka paradoxical. Okay. To avoid strain, you have to uh, have a certain. Uh, yes, tension in the throat muscles that you have to uh, make sure it's there. Okay, keep the tongue down. Okay, the tongue, Ma Virginos, this is one of the articulators. Okay, like the lips, articulator na siya. But it also can act as an interfering muscle if the tongue is very stiff. Okay, I remember one of my students, he had a very good tenor voice, but it's like muffled king ah his tongue was very stiff gabaliskad magkanta siya gamon ni siya mam isa tani tingog so one one way to relax the tongue is to do this every morning i you will i will look funny here okay every morning you have to like stretch the tongue as low as possible nga malabot yun yun Unatungid, especially if the tongue is very stiff, para magluga ang muscles. Okay? 
and then one one exercise another exercise to relax the tongue is open the mouth keep the jaw down and motionless and then make the tongue move in and out of the mouth huh? as fast as you can if you can do that okay listen if you can do the in and out fast without moving the jaw meaning your tongue is relaxed but if the jaw moves with the movement of the tongue meaning stiff a muscles okay so you try to relax the muscles okay let me see my notes first next is to keep the jaw and the mouth relaxed okay the jaw makanta normal position is just to drop the jaw okay that feeling you have to have that relaxed feeling like when you are sleepy when you are yawning ang okay ka controversial niya some saying you should not make that illustration nga nagayon now let me clarify on the first part of the yawn it's the time when the jaw is relaxed gamo gina relax but you will notice at the closing of the yawn do pala niganyo na di hindi dala no that is not the part i am uh, wishing you to uh, copy it is the first part of the yawn inang magdagdag lang gid ni dala nga na that should be the feeling so when you sing you keep the jaw down and relax it not Okay. Okay. And then the tongue should be kept down. Okay. When kept down, I'm referring especially to the tip of the tongue. We'll, when we will go to the basic five vowels, mga a e i o u na dala. Okay. There are different positions of the tongue, but make sure that the tongue, the tip of the tongue, should rest on the base of the lower teeth. There is a base, ah. Huh? Regardless of the vowel, dira na siya gadagdag ang dila. Huh? It should not roll or it should not roll upwards because it would act again as an interfering muscle. Pagwa sang sound, halin sa throat, pagwa sa baba, it will be muffled because there is the tongue that interferes with the sound. So keep it down. Okay? Don't forget the tongue relaxation exercises I taught you. Okay? Next. Teeth should be parted from one to two fingers width. Okay. Not like this, but like this. Okay. Kung wai ka muna anad magkanta, and when it's your first time to um, learn singing or come into voice class, feeling mo, when, when the teacher says, okay, uh, open your mouth wide, feeling mo na yung adudako dako, naging na yung baba mo gali, kay hindi. Diba? When you are not used to opening the mouth, pagamba lang, nga nga do, pati pagtanaw mo sa SPU, kagamay man lang gali. So, standard width is one to two fingers. Huh? Okay? Especially in the A, O, U. Okay? So, you have to keep that, you, keep, you have to keep that uh, opening. Next. Keep focus on the forward part of the mouth. Okay, this is very important. Keep, uh, you will hear, hear voice teacher saying, keep the tone forward. Okay, keep the tone forward. Let me see my nose. Okay, so when I say keep the tone forward, dalen mo, when you are a singer or if you're a voice teacher or a conductor, a lot of things has to be done with very strong visualization techniques. Kina lang, maka-imagine ka. Unlike the piano, magambalan teacher mo, okay, curve your fingers, around fingers mo. Pero there are a lot of organ, or organs that we use in singing that are not seen. So, we resort, we resort to visualizing. Okay? So, when you say, uh, keep the tone forward in the mouth, magkanta ka mo, Make sure that you push it forward. Okay, let me demonstrate. If I sing like this, oh, I'm placing my, dinyo pagsundun ha? I'm placing my tone backwards. Listen. Oh, okay. I'll put it on above. Oh, okay. Listen when it's forward. Oh, okay. Can you hear the difference? Can you detect 
Okay. So if you are a conductor later on, you could you could play with <laughs> you can play with a lot of voice placements. You can make it more forward. Oh, or oh, oh, babaw, or oh. Okay, brighter. Okay. But usually focus on the forward part. Okay. Six, keep a good posture when singing, whether standing or sitting. Okay. Can we have a chair here? I already discussed with you the proper way of standing. Okay, now there are two ways of sitting. Ay, yes, that's better. Sorry. So, you can sit like this. Make sure that you don't... Okay, both feet flat on the floor. Okay. With arms resting here. Okay. You'll notice that the back is straight. Like this. Pero kung kisa ko nakapuyan, kamo especially like when you practice for hours and hours, you can lean on the back of the chair. I, I'm sorry, I have the microphone. You can lean on the back, at the back of the chair, but make sure that your back is straight. Okay? Again, shoulders back, chest out like this. Okay? Di I I assure you, if you practice good posture, manami, gidang inyong ay chura. Even if you will you look, for those who are in their senior years, you will look 10 years younger with your posture. <coughs> because if you like slouch. Okay? Okay, another thing. You know why, why it is important to emphasize good posture? Because when you sing, uh, okay, let me do this sideways. Pag inhale, block aina. Remember, remember, I told you to keep the shoulders back, chest out. Okay? When you do this, you are making sure that this is the hip bone. Debla, hip bone. You have the rib cage here. So if you slouch, what happens? You compress the organs here. Okay, the lungs and everything. But if you do this, what happens? The the lungs can you can breathe properly and the organs are not compressed. Okay, dapat pagpuli niyo mga teachers, choristers, ha? Huh? Posture, chest out, stomach in, back. Okay. Next, next slide. Okay. Oh, let, uh, uh, this reminds me. Another, let me give you one exercise. Uh, you, I gave you the exercise for the tongue. This is another exercise for jaw loosening. Okay? Yah. Y. Y A H. Yah. 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 And while you do it, you consciously, of course, you consciously relax the jaw. Okay, basi gaya ya, na hindi katig aman ya, pundiri. Remember the first part of the yawn. That's how you should feel, okay? Ya, 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 okay? Jaw relaxation. Now, we go, go to the five basic vowels. These are the most fundamental uh, positions. Of the mouth, okay. Kung sa Americano, they don't, they don't have that eh. Kung di sa to, may a, e, i, o, u, t, yan, no? Sila ya, a, e, i. Okay. So, position for the a, can you see it? It's right at the bottom, of the, in the middle. It's a, okay, opposite ways. E, i. Okay. Watch me when I say the e. E. Don't do this. E. Because your sound will be very shrill. Huh? E. Okay? E. No tension in the lips. Okay? Huh? Okay, what about the O? O. 
Okay, watch me. A E I O U. Okay. While you are doing this, by the while, by the way, you have to maintain an open throat. Can you feel if your throat is open or not? Drio, by with the slight movement of the tongue, you can open the throat. Kabalo ka mo? Can you can you feel it open? Okay. It's very important to sing well. You have to keep your mouth, your throat open. Okay. This is how you should visualize it. Ang throat, though, though tube, bala. So when I say you keep it open, do gina amun yun ni ang diameter sa throat to. Ah, so it's gina widen yung ang diameter sa throat. Okay, let me illustrate. Huh? With uh, I'll sing with uh, with a somewhat closed throat. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, okay, with an open throat. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Can you distinguish between the two? Which sounds better? Open throat. Okay. And by the way, uh, while we are in the mouth shapes. Aside from the mouth being an articulator, the mouth also acts as a megaphone. Kabalo ka buko na nong megaphone, no? Ang trompa na bala, trompa. Okay, why is it a megaphone? Where do you produce the sound? Is it produced here in the mouth? Where is it produced? Based from the slide, where the where is tone produced? Larynx, vocal cords. Okay. So, when breath is applied, nag-vibrate na ang vocal cords. That's how tone is produced. Paano na siya magwa? Magwa na siya. Halin sa throat. Gwa sa ba? Ba. So, it is important if you consider the mouth as a megaphone, you have to keep it open. So, bisa namin namin tingog mo kung gaan mo. Kala niyo? Why haboy? Why projection? That's why you have to open it like a megaphone. If you imagine your mouth as a megaphone, hapos na ako. Oh, okay. So, do amo ni, do tubo ang throat, extension ang mouth. Nga dako, kay megaphone siya mo. So, it's, ah. Di ba lang? Ah. Not, ah. Okay. So, applied with, applied breathing. So, it's, Forward. See, you're you're beginning to sound better. Okay, now you can sing. Although there, there, these are the uh, mouth shapes for the vowel. You can sing without not without uh, exaggerated mouth shapes. Like when I sing, ah, uh, It's not ah e i o. Huh? Why? Remember, the tone is produced inside the larynx, so there is no need to make. Okay, so it's keep the throat. Okay, dungan taha. Keep the throat and the mouth open. Minimal movement like this. Okay, so if you are a conductor. Diri palang daan, you can start with this. You have to try to make all the vowel sounds uniform. It's not pag a shrill, pag ka o kulob, pag ka i. Oh, it's not like a e i. It it has to be uniform. So you have to strive to make it uniform. A e i o. Okay. Next slide. Okay, di nila ni Gurong placing the voice. Okay, the voice has three placements. So like in your ordinary speech when you talk, okay, especially kung nubo si nam mam Virgin mga bot na, hello brethren, how are you? Okay, you're using your chest voice. Okay, so the voice that you use in speaking is 
actually the chest tone or the chest voice. Okay? In between, sorry, the mouth, the mouth voice is the middle range. Okay? Sa tunga tunga na siya. And then we have the upper, which is the head voice, that requires a lot of control and breath support. No? So when you are a choir member, kinalan determine mo na ang chest, a middle, kagang head. Okay? The head voice can be produced properly, and if you have a good facility of the head voice, there is no shouting. Okay? Uh, let me illustrate. Uh, uh, I'm using the chest. Okay? So if it's the mouth, uh, middle. So most like, uh, more likely, ang mga middle tones are da da sa middle, middle man nga register sa piano. Okay? So if the, it's the head voice, it's. King, help us my name to sing. Help us. Okay, you're using the head voice. Okay? So if you force it into the head, karunya, oh, huh? Hindi siya mapresa. Head voice is not forced. Okay? Okay, next. If you are a conductor, as I was, as I was saying, you can play with the different tone colors. Now, example, kung may choir ka mo, abing nga katingil-tingil, sang tingong, ganun yun na siya. Like, bainte, kabilog sila, kung gagawa gina siya nga, ba't yan yun na? Ang tingil-tingil nga tingog. Okay? So, what should you do? Okay? You try, there, there are vocalizations for that, no? You can try the humming. Nagkakatuan tala na later. We go to diction. Diction, please. <clears throat> okay. Good diction in choral singing is mainly important so that the word of a piece can be easily understood by the audience or congregation. Here are the two general rules. There are two general rules. Next slide, please. Okay, I want you to take this down. Sing the words with the sounds and style of everyday spoken speech. So, what is ever acceptable nga, uh, so avoid mga regional manner of speaking bala, okay? Nga kung do African, do, Afri do African, or kung kwan do kanisal, no, avoid the uh, universally acceptable kind of everyday speech ha, in singing, okay? Kay kung sa mga Indian or mga ang mga hindi bla ang mga R na mga sa mga Middle Eastern ang mga na so let us try to make it more uh, universally acceptable to exaggerate the pronunciation slightly to make it more clear okay I'm talking about the three things here first the vowels sing vowel sounds in a word as long as possible without distorting the rhythm of the music okay vowels are the foundation of the tone okay oh. okay so when you supposing if the word is uh song if you have the truth how should you si how should you sing it do you sing it as song or song which of the two first or second Second, okay. Amo <clears throat> ng basic. I used I used to say you have to stretch the vowels, okay? When you speak, when you speak, okay. As long as you don't distort the rhythm of the music and the syllabication. Two, consonants should be short and clipped to be effective. When you are singing, you really have to kind of exaggerate and uh, give more emphasis to your diction rather when, than when you are just talking. Like when you say, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. But you sing it like, you have to read it like this before you sing. 
Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Okay, Jesus loves me, this I know. Okay, you can put, now, there are words, now. usually what we do is, in singing, you have to stretch the vowels, and then when the word um, ends with a consonant, you sometimes connect it if the next word is a is a vowel okay but there are times when you connect the word doesn't make any sense Dibela? so you have to make a stop there you call that a glottal glottal stop as in glottis like this i i that's a glottal stop but you should not choose it as frequently as possible because that is injurious to the voice okay again jesus with me jesus loves the V, huh? You don't sing. Jesus loves me. Ano to yung V? Hindi yam intindihan. Jesus loves me. This I know. Okay. For the Bible tells me. Don't forget the S, the sibilant. Okay. So kun conductor ka, especially now, if you if your song ends with an S, make sure that you. Give a signal for the S like uh, lights. Dungan kina kamu. Otherwise, you will sound. Kung bainti kamu kabilo nag. So you have to be very clear and cut. So cons now we go to consonants. As I was saying, it should be short and clipped. Okay, especially when you are singing in your mother tongue or English, nga universally universal language. Okay, diphthongs. What are diphthongs? Examples and diphthongs. Gani mga moms. Okay, mga dua ka vowels black. Mga i, o, oi. Okay, now how should you sing that? Okay, uh, it's if the word is b o u n d, bound. Now, sa mga diphthongs, there is this sustained vowel and the vanish. Okay? Ang vanish, ang munang gina, kanta mong as short as possible just before you end. And there is this part of the vowel that you sustain, uh, sustain or stretch more. Like, bound. How do you sing it? It's, is it bound? Huh? Is it bound? Or bound? Okay, so watch out for the sustain and the vanishing part of the diphthongs, okay? Or toil. Don't forget the L. You just don't sing toy. Toil. Ang mga consonants clipped, okay? Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Balancing and blending of voices. Okay, we go to the balancing and blending of voices. This is very important for uh, those who want to form choir or bisan hindi na choir, bisan mixed group na lang. Okay, please take this down. One, before any single vocal line can be blended into the ensemble, it must be a thoroughly blended unit, unit in itself. Okay, let me explain. So, normally, there are how many sections in a choir? Kung apat kabilog, give me the four sections of the choir. Soprano, alto, tenor, bass. Okay, so when you say soprano, what voice classification is placed there? Ang mga tagas, di ba? Those with high register, high tesitura. Okay, the alto are the lower, yes, uh, sounding range, ha? lower range of the female voices. Pag tenor, ang mga taas. Okay? Pag bass, ang mga nubo. Now, rule number one says, if you cannot even blend the four, uh, you should not, Try blending the four voices all at once. Kung hindi gani, yung mag-blend ang bass mo. Oh? I'm saying, example, kung bainti ka bilog ang bass mo, kag pagkanta na nila, do bainti man katingog ang nagagwa, you are a failure as a conductor. Why? Beautiful singing should strive, you should strive to make the tone as homogeneous as possible. 
kung bainti man ang bass, you have to strive to make it sound like there's only one bass singing. Like singkwen, tama ng soprano, bahala. Now you try to make them sound like there is only one. Okay? So, there are, I'm sure there are many of you here who are exposed to the best choirs in the world. Do you know that the Philippines pride itself of having some of the best choirs in the world? Do you know that? Yes. And as God's people, Filipinos, so we should strive to really excel in our music ministry. So, if you, if you listen to like mga madrigals, what gives them laingin nga dating? It's not all their exceptional voices. If you let them sing, each one of them, hindi na sila tanan-tanan nga nami nami exceptional voices. But it is that they have mas- the conductor has mastered the art of making them sing just like one. Okay? Amo kina importante, you have to emphasize. Okay? So, first, before attempting to balance and blend the whole choir, kung ang alto mo, kung ang bass mo nagalalabaw ang tingog, work out on this first, nga mag, ang tingog, yun, isa na lang nala, ha? Okay, first, you have to avoid, uh, don't make them shout. Because if you shout, it's not going to be anything. Because each of us, each of us our own, has our own, you, you call that individual peak level, okay? May ara ka nga maximum nga voice. You should not even try to reach it. Otherwise, gabasag, okay? So you have to try to make sure that you know the individual pitch level. Two, heavier voices must not crescendo to their fullest or else they will dominate others in the section. Okay. Examples of sopranos. I know Vaya. Vaya has like a flute kind of quality. She has that uh, very mellow, light voice. Okay. Now, supposing, kung gin paupdan ko bi si Vaya, sang isa ka soprano nga dako dako tingog. Okay? Tapos sa, sa part na nabala sang choral portion nga, nag-loud, ang, ang crescendo means nag Okay? From soft to loud. Pagkalabot, dira, pabayan, kung biyang upo, jaya nga dakot-dakot, tingog, jaya nga nag ah, Amo na siya, ya. Tiyan mo matabo sa choir, hindi gin ka mo mag-blend. So, supposing, para mag-blend, what you have to do is, example, ang imo nga choir, ang imo nga members, nga iban, amula niya kadako, ang kanipis, ang tingog, jaya, amo na yung maximum, Ang isa mo yung choir member, amo ni ang kapasitiya, what should you do? You have to tone down these heavier voices nga ang iya nga loud should not be their loudest gamay lang para magproportion sa mga light. You understand? K3, light voices must not sing their softest. This is the opposite. For the bigger voices may not be able to diminish as much, as much and will dominate. Kung tama ka ni ang tingog, for example, si Vaya, why kung haya problem sa iya, by the way, Vaya used to be one of our choir members at River View before she transferred to uh, Capis. Now, I should not really make her tone down so soft. Na, soft again. Soft na gani. Kaya nag na siya. So what should you do? Do not mind these very light voices. Ang inyo nga pa diminish ang mga tunog para magbalanse. Okay? Next. Balance your groups around the weakest, not necessarily the smallest section. Okay, what does this mean? Now, in a choir, example, if there are only five basses, and then there are like ten sopranos, eight altos, does this mean that the basses are the weakest? Not necessarily. How do you... How do you... How do you understand that? So meaning, maghambal nga weakest, bisan lima lang to karon ang base nyo kay baskog to siya karon. Hindi ni siya weakest. Prong soprano mo karon niya, kinsi kabilog, pupuro tanan, hinahinay ang tingog. Pagkanta nila, sila gadala sa melody, hindi sila batiyon. So, you have to consider the sopranos. If they are very light, then you have to, you cannot make them expand anymore and swell because the, you have, they, they have their limits. Huh? Individual peak level. What should you do? Be? What should you do? What should you do with the basses? Tone down the basses para mag balance sa soprano nga light. Okay? Next. 
Basic tonal blend is achieved when the individual tonal characteristics of each voice are fused into one sound. This is what I was saying before. Like the madrigals, when they sing do isalang kabilog soprano. So when you are a conductor, ibalansi honyo ginasya, no? So kung may mga lain lain ina siya ng voice quality, you can try the humming, okay? When maghum, uh, you have to keep the lips together. Pro, gaangkat na ang unto sa sulod. You don't hum like this. Gaangkat na. There's a gap between the teeth and then uh, focus on your forward tone. It's like, okay? This will work sa mga matingil nga tingog bala. Okay? Do the humming. Okay? And then try to balance, balance, balance. Okay? Next. Six. Complete blend is possible only when the following properties are present. Okay? You cannot have complete blend without this. One, accuracy of pitch. So in other words, bisa naga. If you're singing in the, uh, if you're singing in unison and you're singing one note, dola na siya tuod. If there are twenty kinds of dos ng intonation, di ginakamu magblend. You have to work out sa pitch nga exacto gid. So meaning to say, if you are a choral conductor, you have to have a very good ear, very good ear. Aside from knowledge and the training, you have to ha really have a very good ear. Okay, uniform vowels. Okay, you know why this is important. Hindi kamo magblend. Okay, bisa magambal palang nga what word? Oh, okay, B I G. When some of the sopranos will pronounce it as big, and then some will say big, some will say big. Will you have uniformity? Hindi ginaya. So there again, work out. With the uniform vowels, even with the mouth position, maglain ang mouth position, galain man ang puka. Okay. Next, uniform dynamic level. You know what dynamic level is? We can we talk about the loudness and the softness. So if it's mezzo forte, half loud tanan, amuna ng level. Why nga ang half loud sa iban amuni kada ko ang half loud sa iban do hutik. Okay. Next, uniform tone color. Okay. Try to strive to make it the quality uniform, rhythmic unity. Okay, rhythm. So what happens? It you have to enter on time and on time. Okay, there is one writer of a book in conducting that says, "Laggards and strugglers should be out, taken out of the choir." Ano mga strugglers? Kung sa gera, ano ganin ang mga strugglers? Mam ng bita, ang mga ulihi de bela. So, when you sing, you cannot afford to have laggards. Sinang nagapatawhay-tawhay? Kahit sluggards, you cannot, you should not tolerate that in a choir. You know why? There is one conductor that said, this is funny, the conductors are the only people in the world that are allowed to be dictators. Not even presidents and generals. What happens if they become dictators? There are coup d'etats. But I've never heard in my life a conductor naging potestahan niya nagkuwang iyang mga choir members. Never in my life. Can you get the joke? Importante, Gid, Kaayo. What is important here is the physical and the mental intensity that you have to maintain as a choir member or as a conductor. What do I mean? Intensity in a way that you emphasize in the choir 110% of concentration and focus and energy. Otherwise, you are not going to succeed as a choir. That's why it is very, I'm sure many of you has uh, kind of has this experience. Ngayon ang dumaanong kanada and then may nag istorya dito ng choir members. Or nagakanta ka na nga, nagakat, naga, ah, kayo ay siya ka pamati. Ha? Nagata, waay kuya high blood, pro sa mga amuna ya, nagataas ginayang pressure ko, basta mag-amuna, hindi kid pwede. Ha? So, amuna, it is, it is, this is, this is the advice. If you have bloggards and sluggards in the choir, 
you have to talk to them and make sure that they go with you in the intensity they follow with the mental and physical intensity because if not they are not supposed to be there diba nga akay nga ahaw in the church there are a lot of ministries why force yourself in music ministry when you don't have a gift for that diba kadamo pa may medical missionary work my preaching kadamo basta hindi siya nabagay yes you have to talk to that individual okay in order for you to be really an effective choir you have to have develop the intensity nga ina balain ang gamay lang bala nga discipline sa choir magsignal ka ang pianissimo ang pinaka soft ang pinaka loud magdasi gulpi nagaupod siya waya nga ga ending kana nagakanta patuya ang base kay naulihi siya kay why siya ga pamati why siya ga concentrate hindi na iya pwede okay so laggards and sluggards should not be <laughs> should be should be uh, advised to really make sure that you go with your conductor uniform diction you know what that is next no blend is possible with the voices are pushed beyond their normal capacity i was as i was saying a while ago each of us has his or her individual peak level okay so kung mahinay pardon me vaya oh maybe jill is here jill again jill also has a light uh, quality okay now if supposing her effective uh, volume is just this much i should not let her sing at the top of her voice because i need to have that part loud otherwise it's going to what that would be already shouting kay kada isa sa aton may individual peak level maybe you have to make the voices there which are like bigger in volume to work a little harder okay because if you pass that peak level like example peak level mo amo lane oh kag oh tunugon mo na hindi na gid na kamo ya magblend kay gasing gitanay na kamo okay next okay seven when forming small ensembles use like type voices in each group okay let me explain if you don't have a choir and then you have only like six people okay nga gusto mo mag start sa do ensemble kung may pilian ka man lang try of course if this is possible no and if it is not limiting try to uh, pick out those singers nga do palarihas quality bala intindihan nyo so kung ang quality yan na very light kagdasi sa magblend ang unang piliin mo so hindi mo na siya pagsimpunan nga abili malang kabilog ang isaya nga tingog tingil ang isaya to na isal ang isa naman nyo oh tama ka round upudo mo na sila nga lima you will have a bad lump of noise ha budlay budlay na siya ipa-blend so kung jutay lang gani as much as possible if you have the material you have to Make sure that you form a group with like voices. Tikun para magsunggut, basi magsunggut. Iban ti form ka naman yai. Eh. Maju tingil tingil sila yata bright ang ton. We form naman at sila ya. Or ang mga oh ti form naman at sila. Hindi yung pagsakuton kung ju Thailand kaya hindi na siya magblend. May lang kung sa dako ng choir. Okay. Next. Sorry, I I want I want the last part. No, before that, please. Okay, classify your voices into open tone, bright tone, rich tone. Okay, now, ang meaning nga sini, kung lain-lain, uh, voice quality, the same thing. Kung naisal siya karong magkanta, My Jesus, Allah. Ah, hindi, may mga naisal na, hindi ba la? Isa, i-correct muna kung kisa gagawa kayo na, or makanta naman siya nga. Sing the one trust. Ano naman na iya? Tingil. Okay, umara naman niya nga. Oh, okay, very round. What should you do when you are in that dilemma, sa choir? Okay, ano ang ubrahon mo? So, kung ang soprano may isang tingil, ang isa tama ka round, ang isa naisal, hindi mo na siya pag-upudon sila. Ah, no, what I mean is, hindi mo pag-upudon ang, ang tingil tanan. Hindi mo man sila pag, what, you, what you have to do is spread out mo siya sa choir para nga ma-neutralize. So kung tingil na siya, makaupod na siya kay Vaya, makapamati na siya. Ay, ang tingil ko yun do katingil, ibagaya na kay Vaya. 
lupa nyo, spread out nyo sila para mahapos mag-blend. Hindi nyo sila pag po dun. You understand? Okay, next. Solo voices should be made aware of their artistic relationship to the rest of the chorus and should not be allowed to dominate. Okay. Amo ni ang may mga ang mga soloists nga may mga tawag to nga prima donna complex bala nga naanad mag solo. Oh, I have one of my students here, Chosil. Okay. Uh, ang mga soloists nga waay naanad magkanta sa ensemble kag sa chorus, amo ning problema inang naanad sa liable permit sa lang nga solo. Kay pagkanta nan ila sa choir about pagkanta siguro do niya mapalawilaoy na siya galalabaw na iyang tingog ya ti ano matabo bisan pinakanami pa na siya nga tingog sa kalibutan it's not going to work you have to make sure nga matong down ni siya because she is not no longer singing as a solo but she is singing in an ensemble okay i remember one funny story about Kathleen Battle are you oh, do you know Kathleen Battle Kathleen Battle is one of the sopranos in the U.S. No, she's half black, she's slim, she's gorgeous, she's beautiful, okay? But she has this prima donna complex when she, when she uh, sings for rehearsal sa Metropolitan. She makes the whole cast wait for 30 minutes, an hour. And then when she rides in a limousine, she would call her, she would use her cell phone. I don't like this limousine because the AC is not working, okay? Dalon mo naman siya, butang siya sa sweet room. I don't like the color of my sweet room. Until ang mga tao dito sa Met really got mad. They had this t-shirt, I survived the battle. Bamo battle, iya piliedo. Okay, so ang maning mga ano sa mga prima dono, malaki na anad sila solo, sila everybody will cater to their whims and their wants. But hindi pwede sa choir, okay? They have, you have to work as a team, okay? Next. Okay, I guess I'm done. So what would you like to, are there questions? I'd rather nga mag-question ka mo kung ano git ba lang specific need niyo ba lang? My mic? I think it would be nice if the song leader really beats. Especially kung ako nga congregation, Kaya nga, ang purpose ng beating, para magdululungan mo. Namigid siya kung mag-beat. That's why, siguro ang iba nag-hesitate. Some are hesitating because they are not really knowledgeable and they lack training. Kaya nakulong na, yeah, sila kaya base ang downbeat ko. Karoon, upbeat ang sidebeat ko, downbeat. Pero kung kabalo ko, why don't you, uh, why don't you try beating? Okay? Okay, I think it's important. Namigid kung kabalo. Madala mo ang congregation if you beat. Okay? Other questions? Other choir informing a choir or song leaders? Ah, six eight. Okay, there are two ways of beating the 6-8. Okay, one is what they call, they use for like watch time. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Don't forget the rest, huh? Relax again, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, one, three, four. Kung nautihan ka mo, the easiest way is to Use the other beating which is the same as the two. Huh? One, two, three, two, four, five. Ang downbeat, you feel the three pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Ano ganing nga kanta? Mga six, eight. Ah? I think I have it here listed. Yes. Praise Him. Praise 
is in Jesus, my blessed return to three. Tan 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 ta tan 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 ta ra 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 tan tan. This is good for fast tempo. Okay, kon praise him, praise him, bow. Kakapoy, nami isa sa mga hinay. Hmm. Okay, you you okay na? Okay na? Tikok kon nine eight siya bi. Pamang kuton taka mo kon nine eight bi. Blessed that you ran siya nine eight mo. Paano ka mo mag-beat sa 9-8? In joyful heart. 6-8? Is it 6-8? Okay, let me, ano ganit na nga number? Let me check ha. In joyful heart. Is it in the church hymnal? Philippine edition na. Do I do this akong hymnal? Ah, okay. Uh, Mrs. Ano din yung number? What number is it, please? Can I? Oh, one six. Okay. Hari na lang ko na. Okay. So, it's a six eight. Now, do you understand why... What is the eight doing there below? So how do you how do you explain it? What's how what does the six mean there? What does the six mean? What does the six mean? Six beats in a measure. Ano ning eight? Okay, ang eighth note naga receive one count. So meaning to say. Why labot na bantayan yun? Ibantayan yun ang lower number pero misang time signature. Kisa may six eight, okay? Kisa may three eight, three two, three sixteen. mga amuna ang dirigat determine kung ano nga nota ang ma one count. Tikaro mag eight, minang ang eighth note ma one count. Normally pilaga ni ang values ang eighth note one half. Tiko mag eight diri kag naga one ano ang implication niya sa iban nga mga nota kung ang eighth note naga one kay one half siya sa una ano matabu sa sixteenth note one half one half ang quarter may mo siya pila Okay, so meaning, ang papus lang magpaintindi sa inyo, if the lower number is an 8 regardless of the upper number, just double the value of all the notes. Double nyo. Ang normal bala, KT ang quarter, 1 mo matunan na siya. Ang 8 note nga, 1 half, ma 1. Ti, karun mag-amuni siya yabi o, mag, ano naman na dayang 2? Ang half note nyo, pila gani? Two counts. Di kayo magambaldak two, meaning sina, ang half note, mahimu one count. Ano naman na ang implication niya sa tanan ng nota? Tunga na lang sa value yung tanan, tunga. So, ang four ma two, ang two ma one, ang one ma one half. Baliskad sila sa eight, ang eight ma doble, ang two, half na lang tanan. Okay. Okay? So, in joyful high and holy lace, we start... Do we have a complete measure or incomplete? Okay, what beat? On what beat do we start? Ano na siya? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Ano na siya nga beat? Kaya six mo, six, eight. Ha? Six beat. So, babaw. Enjoy. Where is the Q? Where does the Q fall? Fifth. Hindi? Oo, oo. In joy, one full. Remember the cue. It's one full beat ahead of the first beat. The first beat ara sa babaw mo so maamo kamo ni ano yong. In joyful high and holy lace. Tan 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 tan. If you use this beating, you have to make sure that the tempo is lower. Tan 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 tan. Okay. What about blessed assurance? Ano ganing beating sa blessed assurance?
ba mo mga compound signatures na siya so may mga dots na siya 98 kaya ano na siya ano pag simplify sa 98 Okay 1 2 3 Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do mga no? But the simplest way is again, go back to its. Uh, go back to its simple form. This is the tawag ni compound triple, not threes. You go back to its simple triple, which is the three four. Para simply one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. So for every stroke of the hand, feel the three pulses in one, two, three. Tawag ni siya, compound ni siya, kaya hindi siya, hindi siya divisible by two. So it's one, kung amun ni sundun, it's one, blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, sabad. Prari, hapus lang, oh. Blessed assurance. Jesus is one, two, three, one, two. Three. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. One, two, three. Tan, tan, tan. Okay? Sige. Thank you, everybody. I hope you have learned. Okay. Yes, last question. Uh, naka observe ako, ma'am, sa una sa Khalid Squire. May nag-audition nga taas-taas ang tingog, pero ang ginagamit niya, natural ba, babae? Bisan ano ang nga reins ang ipalabot siya sa kandaktor, abot niya, abot niya pero ginbutang siya sa kandaktor sa alto. Di ba si matabo man niya sa uli, si mag-form sa choir? Okay man na mama, ano nga kanda ang imong sa Very good question. Oh, may aray akong kisa nga. Hindi. Okay. When you form a choir, what's the first thing you have to do? Do you just pull them and then teach them a song and then sing the, let them sing the next Sabbath? What is the first thing you have to do when you want to form a choir? You audition. Okay? Kung sa basket, bala try out. Okay. Audition is necessary so that you, you can determine ang vocal range siya. Okay? Kung ibutang mo niya sa soprano, kung taas niya siya, kung ubo sa bass, or what else? Anong effective voice siya? Kaya isa pa ginay ka problema. There are some, sometimes, uh, you get to audition as soprano, soprano, gijang range siya, why problema? Galing, you will notice that ang high note siya, tama yung katingil. Bisan, anong, anong mo yung katone down? Gagwa siya. So, what, you have, what do you have to do if you are the director? Pangitaon mo diin ang iyang nga tone nga nami. Kay gibutang mo siya. I, I have... I have this kind of experience. Nga may soprano ko nga tingil. What I did what did I do? Range siya soprano. Rugin butang ko siya sa alto kay nga ang middle range siya nami maka-blend siya. Kay kun ibutang siya sa soprano, gagwa ang tingil ya. So it doesn't mean that kun taas ang tingog mo. Of course, that is the primary requirement ang range, no? But ining brother nga pamangkot Halin kuno ya sa dalom asa sa babaw nga iya nga very wide ang range nya makasaka man siya sa babaw makasaka man siya sa dalom bisan if if this is the case you can put him or her uh, her in the alto kun nami ang wide man siya nga kataas sa iya pero kun ang iya nga low tones nami bala nga deep kag full nga pagay pang alto ibutang mo siya sa alto eh but but does, that doesn't mean that she stays there forever Okay? There will be pieces nga di na to si brother Brad Kung kisa, may makita ka naman nga piyesa nga kinanglan bongga git bala, nga kinanglan kinanglan mo sopranos nga very strong ti kulamon mo naman ni siya kagpakantaon sa soprano eh, she can sing both alto and soprano Okay? Hymns pag Ano na siya nga him? Ang question mo kung anong title sa church hymnal, song number 456.
Philippine edition. Philippine edition ang ahin na. Title, title, please. Ah, another six days for this one. Four, five. I. Four, five, six. Okay, while we are in this, di pa ano ka mo magbeat sa not I but Christ? Anong beating sa not I but Christ? B? Sabi, sino ka pa kung anong beating sa not I but Christ? Ay. Three, three-fourth and four-fourth. Ah, okay. Three-two. Okay. Ang three-two... Di kay hamba ko three man yapon. Di sa diin ay siya masulod nga beating. Kay three beats in a measure siya. Ha? Pero silang yapon sa three, four, eh. Galing. Ano na ang counting nyo? Instead sa quarter note nga ma one count, half note na. So, mag beat si na. Okay. Di kay nagalas na ang value ta. Ang quarter note, mahimu na siya half. So it's another six days work is done. Para the Sabbath has is begun. Return my soul and joy my rest. Improve the day that God has blessed. Mamu kamu na nayo. Another six. Okay, one. Another six. Okay. Another six. Ah, yes, sir. Thank you. The question never ends. Kita mo. Ah, pwede sa counseling na lang kamo. Basi may pamangkin. Counseling session. Ah, just kidding. Ah, why gini never ending? Gini okay na lang kasi Mam Ellen ni Miga ko niya siya mo. Last, last nagin. Pagtapos ang isa kalas, may isa pa lang kalas. Ah, uh, sige ma'am, Ellen. Okay. Uh, I am not a music major. However, I have to ask this this afternoon. Uh, with regards to the chorister and the song leader. In the seminar that I have attended, it sa they said that um, you are going to use song leader instead of a chorister because a chorister is... Uh, choir director according to them a choir leader so which is proper to use actually yes very good question I think this is very unchangeable uh, I also don't you know that I also got confused the first time I read uh, in a conducting book that he referred to choir members as choristers also so it can be a lot of things oh, oh choristers oh and in a choir, chorus, oh, because choir members, choir, choristers. I don't know if Mrs. Amanda has something to say about this. For me, it's interchangeable. Chorister, it's more as a choir, maybe. Song leader. Yes, yes. Left handed, you can beat with your left hand if you are a left, you are left handed. I beat with my left hand because I am more comfortable with my left hand. Now, if you are a conductor, it is not. It doesn't mean always that you have to use both hands. Okay, Ray Pagyo, one of the conductors, say, said, "Okay, if your left hand, if you're right-handed, uh, if your your left hand has nothing to do, keep it at the back. Ina pahigot siya na di sa may sujante. Just use the right hand." Okay, because this gives the beating. What does the other do? One, for cues, for entrances. So it ingo hala si gilana. It doesn't mean you can land wagin ay kakamut. Or and then if you are a lefty like me, use your left hand. Kaya ako yung left hand ko yung mas nami ni siya yung sang sa right ko yung who kaya lakan den ko yung mo. Di kung left hand den kang akan doctor beat here cue with your right. Okay, si Sister Bebot, may pamangkot siya. Ano kuno ang P? Ano ng mga F? 
Ano mga PP? Ano mga FF? Ang MF? May FF? Do wala? May FF man? Okay. Why na kung why na kung kita piyesa in a long time? Oh. Another day with Mrs. Amandre. <laughs> Dynamics. Nagamahal naginiyang bayad taya every 30 minutes nagastretch. These are what you call dynamic uh, uh, signs, and they are usually <laughs> Italian based. Italiano sini ang nagdesign sini. So F is forte, meaning loud. Okay, P ka is piano, Italiano man ang word. Okay, got it. So when we say forte, loud, piano, piano. So, okay. Sometimes you will have S F Z for sando with force. What yo? Especially in choral music, for sando. Okay. Ah, uh, what song would I like to sing? Uh, let's just pretend. I sing the mighty power of God. If you want to emphasize, use the uh, first downbeat for sando. Am I getting through you? I mean, do you get you in there? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay, yung ato niya mga no nonsense ni ngada ng ato mga speakers. <laughs> wow! Ti, may natunan man ka mo? Ang kisaba lang nga expressions, black is anila, magkambal nga. I hope you learned something, something lang na learn niyo subong. About everything, man, mo grabi, man ang answer. Everything, gidao. <laughs> okay, I think you you did not learn just something, but many, many things, right? Kadamo, gikuya gani iyang siling ko. Ay, amugali ni so this should not be the last, no? This should not be the last. And uh, si Mama Mandre kagapun do ay na siya katulog sa ngudto. Gaplano na siya sa next. Oh, grabi, no? Ne uh, because of course, the Bible says, the Book of Proverbs says, a smart man, a smart person's person enjoys knowledge. In fact, he looks for them. You have learned many things, but it's never enough. But one good thing about one good news that I could share with you is that HCBN, praise the Lord for this ministry. Tindog bala mga staff bala sang HCBN la kamo ka balo amuni ang mga people behind the camera. Ay si Sister Rose, hindi kaya Sister Rose. Hindi hindi ka Sister Rose. Si HCBN. Ah sorry. Okay, sorry. Mga did pa tong sa likod. HCBN, they're going to edit the videos. No? Kag tapos YouTube Upload ang hindi ka balod sa internet kinanglan ma ang Google Google na kamo kag mo YouTube YouTube. So we are very thankful for your special ministry. So Mam Ms, pag makita nyo like man kamo ay <laughs> hindi lang kag like learn no learn from it. Uh, I don't have so much time to take notes, but I'm sure because of the YouTube and the video, uh, this lecture should go to farther places. Mam M, Mam Beats. What you learned is basic. Intindihan nyo ang basic. Fundasyon. Wala pa nagtukod ang balay nyo. In other words, keep on learning. That was only Music 101. This noon was Music 101B. Next time, We'll go into keys if we have an opportunity again. Keys. Ano na yung sharps and flats? Those are called accidentals. How do you use that and how do we get that? Nga ang kami ara pa sina. Nga tani kiopsi na lang balahaw. Okay. Then you will learn how to do that. And then later on, you will learn how to transpose. Ano na yung transposition? That's necessary because many times, especially if you're a pianist or an organist. Makanta, makanta, ma'am. Especially kung bisita. Ma'am, pwede bala ini nga kanta, hindi ko ka bala kalabot. Ipapanao gani. Which means what? Transposition going down. And yung isa, ma'am ta, kanubo sina, abi pa sa kaa. Transposition mo na. 
you go from one key to the other, either going down or going up. So these are things that are part of the music learning that you need to learn. So when you see any book or anything, or if you ask, and ask anybody, keep on learning. The building block you had today is foundation. Add. Pero yung block mangimo, sila sang pader, ano gani? Hollow blocks. Isa kalinya. Daso naman kalinya kalinya. So, hopefully, we can add some seminars later on that can add to your knowledge and your, we can build above the foundation so we become a beautiful building and you can sing praises to the Lord. And that is my dream that every Sabbath morning, we come to the church prepared. Many times I bow my head in shame to the Lord. Ko, Ari, naman gino, oh, sorry, these people do not know their song and feel it. Gid makanta man. Sige lang. Ah, ah okay na na. Ah. Eh, oh, hindi man nakabalo ang mga kauturan sa sala. Muna bala. Ang kabata, kauturan, hindi kabalo. Pero ang Diyos kabalo. Nahuya ko na iso iya mo. Daw gina insulto. Tabla ang kina gino, oh. He lands a perfect. What does perfect mean? Accurate. Okay, please keep that in mind. Everything you do, especially in music, it has to be accurate. Bisa na inyo nga note values, rests. That's why it's so important. I started you out with the beat and the rest. It's important that you rest when you're supposed to rest, and you're supposed to sound when you have a note. I praise God. Okay, dugay dugay nagawali na ko from one o one to one o two na ni. Okay. Praise God. So God bless you. Broadcasting Network.